Hi, welcome to the Zoologist Network. If you don't, my name is Zen Martin. If you don't, if you, if you forget what my name is, look up here. And if you don't, if you forget what the show is, look up, look up, look up, look up, look right here. It's called Zoologist News Network. Now today, we are going behind the closet door. To talk about, to look at the science behind Disney Pixar's Monsters Inc. And I thought it would be a why? I I thought it'd be appropriate because Halloween is just around the corner. Let's get our scare on. Roar! So what do monsters have to do with zoology? Reasons. Nope. Just kidding. It's a special zoology called cryptozoology, which is called, which is the study of make-believe animals. Now it's time for the new segment on Zoologist Network, Theory Thursday, where, uh, since this is a special, I'm introducing it here, so it's not, it's gonna be an. Theory Thursday is usually an episode, just like my scientifically corrected and cartoons in real life and all that. So, Theory Thursday, it's where I where I talk about my theories on different animals, like today. Where it's here's the theory on monsters. Well, people say there's no such thing as monsters, but but my theory proves it wrong. So. This does connect to the Pixar theory, too, which is the idea that all Pixar movies are connected. So, in the order of Good Dinosaur, Brave, Ratatouille, Finding Nemo, Up, Toy Story, Inside Out, The Incredibles, Cars, Wall-E, A Bug's Life, and Monsters, Inc. Oh yeah, Find, and by the way, Finding Dory takes place a year after Finding Nemo. So that so monsters. So for today, we're talking about Monsters Inc. And Monsters Inc. takes place in the future, as you know, as this the, as the theory states. So the, the so my theory is the monsters are going back to the past to scare the children, and. Which means that the monsters will exist in the future when humans are not are no longer existent. That's my theory on monsters. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I'll be here all week. So let's talk about the monster a monster called the abominable snowman everybody's heard of them and but for yeah but first we need to take a virtual field trip to uh, don't ask me where the field trip is it's a surprise i know where the field trip is don't tell them welcome to the himalayas as an abominable snowman would say if if he if it were a lot if it were here right now. So, the about my theory about the abominable snowman is the same thing, but also what kind of what kind of animal would it be? Would it be a mammal? Would it be a bird? Would it be a reptile? Would it be a fish? Would it be an invertebrate? It, remember, mammals are animals that produce milk and give birth to live young. Rep birds, yeah, you know birds. They have feathers. Reptiles have scales. Amphibians. Oh, I forgot to say amphibians. So, the yeti would be a bird. Would be a primate. Because the yeti, the yeti would be a primate. What? Yep. So. Primates are monkeys. Now remember. Oh yeah. What are primates? They're apes, they're monkeys, and they're lemurs. These would be apes, because they're so big. Oh, yeah. And 
It would live in the it would, and it would live in Nepal, of course. That's why that's why he says, well, that's where the Yetis live. Now, let's talk about the Loch Ness monster, which is Wait, let's just take a ver let's take that field trip first. You'll see you'll see what I mean. Next thing we'll talk about is the Loch Ness Monster. And we're in Scotland, by the way. So, like where the Loch Ness Monster lives. The stories can be real if you make them real. So, really, you know how the dinosaurs are extinct? My theory on the Loch Ness Monster is the Loch Ness Monster is a lot... Well, it is a future dinosaur. I would like to call it because it, it's a reptile that will exist in the future. It's, it's a reptile, by the way. Which means it's gonna have scales, like snakes, cold such as blooded. yeah, it's cold blooded. So these animals, it's a reptile, and these animals include snakes, reptile, snakes, lizards, turtles, and alligators and crocodiles. One episode, I'm gonna be doing an episode all about them, and I'm gonna be holding real animals. Here we are with the primates again. Bigfoot. To see where he would live, let's go let's go on a virtual field trip. Click click. Strap the seatbelt. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. So he lives in Canada. Will he will live in Canada? He will evolve from No, he's not gonna evolve from a gorilla. He'll, he will evolve from, believe it or not, humans are animals. They are primates. Humans are animals. They belong to the ape family. So Bigfoot, so Bigfoot and abominable, Bigfoot and abominable snowman, and abominable snowman will evolve from us. Surprisingly, huh? Yeah. Now, let's talk about the Kraken. The Kraken is a really big octopus that will exist in the future. That's if submarines, and they will be able to take submarines and eat them. No. Not, <laughs> just kidding. Not, they're not going to eat the submarines. They're going to eat the people inside submarines because they're that Because octopuses are really smart. No. But. Exactly, Jake. That's what I would say. Now, let's talk about the Kraken. The Kraken is a really big octopus that will exist in the future. That's if submarines, and they will be able to take submarines and eat them. No. Not, <laughs> just kidding. Not, they're not going to eat the submarines. They're going to eat the people inside the submarines because they're that Because octopuses are really smart. No. But... Exactly, Zeke. That's what I would say. Let's talk about the most famous actor of all of cryptozoology, the dragon. Made fa famous roles that such as Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, Dragon Ball Z, a favorite cartoon, and... What is it? What is it? Yeah, I'm just naming those. So, dragons existed in the past when, <clears throat> like the 1300s, when kings were around and knights to slay them. Now, they are currently extinct because all the knights have slayed them. Because they cause they seem to be, be foul beasts. Let's talk about ogres. Well, they're they're green. They're they 
They're ugly. And oh yeah, like Shrek. So Shrek. So one of these are sh so one of these ogres are monsters, and they date. They date like in the 1300s when there were princesses. Loud. They were loud. Like the ogre existed from 1300 all the way to 2010. They will bring the ogre. They will. They'll bring Shrek back. I'm sure. They'll bring Shrek back soon, but by 2018, I. Expect to be, well, Shrek, Shrek's still alive, but in the future, when Shrek, dot, when Shrek becomes extinct, there'll be another ogre, is my theory about ogre. Now, ogres live in Scotland, originated from Scotland, and were introduced to America, believe it or not. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll be here all week. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That I told you. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So glad you accept my apology. Now, trolls. Not the movie. It's diff. This type of troll is different. We're talking about, we're talking about trolls that live uh, alongside ogres. I think nope, not that. The troll lived it alongside ogres, like, actually alongside them. Some even lived with them. Is my theory. And then they were reintroduced all over the world, but they're native to Scotland. I appreciate you watching the video. Give it a like. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, complaints, comment down below. Let me hear them. Let me hear them. And punch the subscribe button in the face like a boss. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.